Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I wash my hair and as you can see, it's really oily. So first off, I start by taking down my hair, obviously, and as you can see, like I said, it's really oily and we don't want that. So the first thing that I do is I comb out my hair to take out any tangles that might be in my hair. And sorry guys that my hair looks really thin because that's just how my hair is but just work with me okay so the first thing we're going to do is take off my glasses because i cannot put water on those and now we just wet our hair a little bit and sorry for the bad angles but just roll with me like i said one second so this is the shampoo that i was talking about in my other video and this is the one that i'm going to use so yeah so what i do is i take about this much shampoo and then I'm going to put it in my roots and just work it through there so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah so you just rub it in your scalp and this shampoo is good for both thin haired and very thick haired girls but as you can see I have really really thin hair which gets me a little self-conscious but oh well once it dries it gets really big so that's all that matters but yeah, so this is what I do, and yeah, so I'm trying my best to <laughs> work with y'all, but now I'm going to wash this out, so yeah. Now I'm going to get the conditioner that I use, which is this one. Yeah, and I'm going to also take a lot of this shampoo but for right now this is how much i mean conditioner i always say shampoo but work with me like i said <laughs> it's a little hard to do these type of videos when you talk and watch the video at the same time but yeah i just worked this conditioner through my hair and as you can see i'm going to use a lot of it because a little does not go a long way for me <laughs> so i'm going to put a lot of this in my hair so yeah So now I'm going to take this brush that I showed you in the beginning and I'm going to comb out my hair with the conditioner in it because it helps take out the tangles. And what you should do is work from the bottom up. As you can see here, I'm not really doing that but because I was in a little rush. But what you should do to cause prevent less breakage is to work from the bottom. As you can see right there, I had like a little knot in my hair. So you start from the bottom and you work your way up. That's the best way to comb your hair out without damaging it even more than it already is. But yeah, so you just do this and then after this, you just wash your hair. But yeah. Okay, so now that you're done with combing out your hair, you actually, instead of washing your hair, wait five minutes. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now, simple, just wash your hair. <laughs> and wash out the, all the conditioner that's left in your hair. Actually, if you want, you could leave a little bit in your hair so that your hair can keep that moisture in it. But if you don't want to, then you don't have to. And when you get close to the end of washing your hair, the last thing you want to do is wash your hair with cold water so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now so let's go the water has to be like really cold and you put that in your roots so that way that your hair cuticles can close up so that your hair doesn't fall out as much as it would 
Hey guys, so now I'm going to show you how what I do after the shower. So I put this in my hair to take out the tangles. So what I would do is I just there's barely any in here because I use it a lot. But you know what? We're not going to spray it. We're going to open it and I'm going to put it in my hand. That's how you know I use this a lot, but that's too much. But like that much, if you can see. I it between your fingers and put it through my hair. I might actually use a little bit more. Put it on my roots and the back of my hair. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to brush out my hair. And like I said in my other video, you see how easy it is to comb out my hair like it might look like i have no tangles in my hair but my hair actually right now is really like it was knotted but now it's good because i could comb it out so basically that's what i do after and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my towel I'm gonna get this and I'm not scrunching my hair because I don't scrunch my hair I just drain out over excess water that's in my hair I do that because towels aren't good for your hair because of the fibers it has here and it gives your hair a frizz so I don't do that so then I would comb my hair one more time in the front and the back and then I'll comb it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my head over and scrunch my hair. my hair is drying a little bit it's still wet but you know see it's somewhat dry in the front it's the back that's still wet but yeah this is how my hair turns out and I tried to part my hair differently so this piece is just like but I'll fix that later but yeah this is how my hair turns out so if you want a better video about me doing this I will do another one but for right now, this is all I can provide with, you know, the things that I have, you know, because I don't have a camera yet and I'm trying to get one. So once I get one camera, then all my videos will be better. I promise. I know that they're not the greatest and I know I'm chopping some of my videos, but you know, what can I do? That's how God made me. So I'm proud of how I look and I'm proud of who I am. If you don't like it, then go to another video but yeah so this is how my hair looks hope you guys like the video and like I said I'm gonna try my best to make better videos and make it more fun to watch I guess because some of my videos be looking crazy but yeah I love you guys and thanks for watching